one of the most progressive senators in the country, joins me from Ohio, where he was just with the president, Senator Sherrod Brown. How are you? Great, Senator. How are you? Um, Good, thanks. Senator, simple question for you. If you heard my uh, little explanation there, how are you going to help Bob? Yeah, I, you, I think you painted the right picture. Uh, when we return in September, we're going we're gonna to put this bill again on the floor, which does several things, the Jobs for America Act. It will provide that $30 billion to community and smaller banks and, and regional banks that, that will, you know, with enough strings attached, we know that money will go out to small business. Uh, I met with some bankers today in, in Columbus uh, after I saw the president, who I uh, have a reputation of working with small businesses especially, and um, we're going to work with the SBA so that the loan limits can be higher, so that that small companies, especially manufacturers, who who need cap, who need working capital. I mean, I, I talk to manufacturers in my state all the time. Two out of every three new jobs in this country come from small business. Many of them from manufacturing. We make things in this country. We know how to make things, especially in places like Youngstown and Akron and Dayton, Ohio. Uh, they have the customers. They have the capacity. They have the workers uh, to begin to manufacture again we know that we pull ourselves out of recession by manufacturing by making things we need a, a, a small business incentive jobs bill which is what we're going to bring to the floor again in September Senator Voinovich the Republican other Republican um, the other senator from Ohio who's a Republican has supported in the past we need one or two other Republicans out of 41 to join us it'll help to put people back to work it's exactly the way to help Bob in Iowa or Ohio or wherever you say Bob is and it will make a difference so, Senator, uh, one, answer, one question is how do you get past the Republican filibuster? On that particular issue of the $30 billion going to the community banks, is Senator Voinovich going to flip, or do you know if other Republicans are going to no. flip? And if they don't, how do you make them? Well, I think they're beginning to feel pressure. I mean, I, the country's catching on. I mean, it was, it was 10 years of... of trade agreements that cost us jobs, of tax cuts for the rich that weren't paid for, of deregulation of Wall Street, of bailouts for the drug and insurance companies that took a budget surplus and blew a hole in it in the Bush years. That's what got us where we are now. People are starting to understand, you know, that's what we inherited, President Obama inherited when we were losing 800,000 jobs a month when he took office. And I think the, the, the public is beginning to put pressure on Republican senators who so far have gone along with their leadership because they want Obama to fail. I know that senators like George Voinovich don't, don't, don't have that view of let's Barack Obama fail. Their view is how do we fix this economy? I think we're going to see a number of Republicans split off because of public pressure and an appeal to patriotism that, you know, now's the time to get this economy going, helping small business create the jobs that small business, as I said, especially manufacturers, are very good at doing. Uh, Senator Brown, I want to see if there's a strategy, though, because, for example, the Republicans, they zone in on an issue like that so-called ground zero mosque and they all talk about it and they hit it and they hit it until it becomes this enormous issue why can't we do that with an issue that actually makes a difference why can't you know we say all right look we're going to put these guys on the spot until the american people are perfectly aware that they're blocking this bill that can actually lead to jobs well, that's what President Obama did in Columbus today. I think you're going to see House and Senate Democrats and candidates and, and others who care about the public interest um, begin to echo those comments that, you know, whose side are you on in the end? You want to go back to these uh, to this deregulation of Wall Street and tax cuts and for the rich and, and privatization of Medicare and Social Security. You want to go back to that or you want to go forward? That puts, I think, increasing pressure. And Republicans do that very well. I mean, they tried on the 14th Amendment uh, to, um, I mean, that was just a bizarre issue that came from nowhere. They try it with this mosque. They're always trying to distract people's attention and detract from the real issues that matter in people's lives. I mean, Bob in Zanesville, Ohio, or Dayton, or Cincinnati, or Chillicothe, it doesn't matter what, whether they build, whatever they build around September, or in New York City, it doesn't really matter about the 14th Amendment. What matters to them is that they can find a job with decent benefits, raise their family, send their kids to school, have a decent place to live. But, Senator, let, let's go to the Democrats now, did uh, the Obama administration screw up by giving away all that money, whether it's directly the TARP money or indirectly all the other bailouts that went there? Because isn't saying, hey, you know what, we got to now give $30 billion more to actually do the job, isn't that kind of an admission that the first several hundred billion we gave didn't really work? 
Well, the first several hundred billion did work. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't, it, 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 as far as it went. I mean, the money is being paid back. The financial system didn't collapse. Uh, $60 billion went to the auto industry. Now we're seeing three profitable American auto companies, Ford, Chrysler, and GM. Those companies are hiring people now in Ohio and Lordstown and Defiance and Parma, Ohio and other places. Uh, they're beginning to pay back that money. If they have, we hadn't done that with the auto industry, which most Republicans again said no to. Again, Senator Voinovich, an exception to that. But uh, that if we hadn't done that, we would have had uh, hundreds of thousands of more unemployed, not just auto workers, but suppliers, component manufacturers, auto dealers, um, all kinds of people that are right. part of that huge industry. So those were the right things to do. It's just we haven't gotten the cooperation from Republicans to do what we need to do for small business for Main Street. Now, I, I mean, we clearly, the government clearly does too much for Wall Street at the expense of Main Street. There's no question about that. Uh, particularly in the Bush years, but we've got to focus more on Main Street. That's where the jobs are created. They're not created in Wall Street. They're created in Main Street, Mansfield, Ohio. Yeah, I, you know, I might agree with you on the auto industry. On the big banks, they just didn't lend the money out. We didn't get the jobs going. Oh, I so know they didn't. I know the, so the mistake, I think that part yeah, of it was a failure. Yeah. No, yeah. that's right. No, the, the mistake the mistake was not lending the money to the banks. Uh, the mistake was in the end of the Bush years and the Bush, the last months of the Bush administration, the early months of the Obama administration, the, the error was not because of the speed at which we thought we had to do it. The error in retrospect was we should have put more strings on the money so Absolutely. that the money was loaned out. That that's was the exactly. error. And, and everybody made it, frankly. Um, but right. that's passed. We're getting most of the money back, if not all of it. And we've got to focus on small business and job growth, period. There, sh there definitely should have been strings attached. That is, the right, in my opinion, yeah. the right answer. Thank you, yeah. Senator Brown, for joining us. Sure, we appreciate thanks. It. Good, good talking to you again. Thanks. All right. <laughs>